Now let's look at some maintenance and repair as well as troubleshooting ideas. Follow these standard maintenance procedures to ensure long life and optimum performance of all rice hydrostatic test pumps. First, check the inlet hose swivel to ensure the combination hose screen and washer is clean, in place, and in good condition. Two, check the inlet line strainer to make sure the gasket is in place, the mesh strainer is not clogged, and there are no cracks in the cap or bowl. Manufacturers suggested maintenance on the D30 diaphragm pump. First, check the inlet dampener diaphragm to be sure that it's snugly in place with the clamp intact. Be sure to watch for stress cracks, dry rot, tears, or rips, and so forth. Second, check air pressure in the accumulator diaphragm. Maintain a pressure of 90 to 110 PSI for ideal performance. Third, change oil in the pump and gear reduction after 40 hours of break-in operation and every three months or 500 hours thereafter. Fourth, to change oil, remove drain plug and oil sight glass covers. Rotate the shaft until oil stops flowing out. Replace drain plug and refill with non-detergent 30 weight oil in the pump and 90 weight gear lube in the gear reduction. Always change pump oil when replacing diaphragms. Fifth, for winter storage or in freezing conditions, flush the pump with a 50-50 solution of water and antifreeze. Now the bypass regulator. Check for any cracks, rust, or leakage. Make sure the T-handle is easily adjustable and is preset at an average working pressure of 300 PSI. For higher pressures, loosen the lock nut and adjust the T-handle accordingly. The pop-off relief valve. Make sure that it is intact, is not rusted or cracked, and is set to relieve pressure at 500 PSI. When accurately set, a slow but steady drip of water will occur. The check valve and ball valve should be in place and working properly. The gauge should be free of cracks and holes. The liquid glycerin should be full and clear in color. The needle should be resting at zero or below. The 3 quarter inch by 8 foot 500 psi working pressure outlet hose should be in good condition. Check for abnormal wear, cracks, rips, tears, holes, and so forth. Monitor the hose fitting connection areas for stress separations. The engine. Pre-operation check and maintenance should include, first, checking the engine oil before each use. Engine oil should be detergent, four-stroke SAE 10W30 for your general all-temperature use. The oil level should be filled to the top of the oil filler neck. In extreme temperatures, different viscosities may be needed. Refer to the owner's manual or call us at the factory. For maintenance, change oil within the first month or after the first 20 hours of use and every six months or 100 hours thereafter. Two, check the gear reduction oil before each use. Third, the air cleaner. Check before each use to make sure all components are in place, are clean, and are in good working condition. Clean and replace if needed every six months or 100 hours. Fourth, sediment cup and spark plug should be cleaned and adjusted every six months or 100 hours of use and replace after one year or 300 hours of use. Fifth, after one year or 300 hours of use, check, adjust, or clean idle speed, valve clearance, fuel tank, line, and strainer. Six, fuel, unleaded gasoline only, octane 86 plus. When refueling, fill to the shoulder of the fuel strainer. Never use old, stale, contaminated, or oil and gas mixtures. And seventh, before doing any maintenance and repair, be sure the engine is off, cool, and in a well-ventilated area. Mm -hmm.